Oh, I just love putting on makeup! Lips and eyes and skin, done! Wait, what's Kate doing with her makeup? Careful. Just draw this line like this. Jennifer, are you ready to see my look? Love you. Oh my gosh! That's amazing! You're so clever! Hey, Jennifer! Hi! Oh, her hair is a total mess. I feel bad. I bet people will laugh at her. <laughs> oh, that would be so hard to deal with. Stop! You know what? I'm gonna help you out. This is a hair intervention. We'll start by taking out this hair binder. Okay, but now my hair's messy. That's because I'm still working. You need some color. First, we'll need some markers. I'll cut the end right off and take out the ink. It's a little inky straw, which means I can blow through it. I'm just gonna put it in my mouth and… Voila! All the color is coming out! Okay, now that I have the color, I need the cream. I'll just add a little dollop and start mixing it into the color. Okay, we're ready for the next step. I've got a plastic glove, so time to dig in. I'm going to layer this on a strand of your hair. Now to wrap it with aluminum foil. Good! It's purple time! Uh, are you sure this is really a good idea? Yes! You'll see when it's all done. Foil for this one, too. Now we've just gotta wait. Okay, time to check your hair! Just unwrap the foil and voila! Oh, I think I'm too scared to look! <gasps> Wait, is that my hair? It's green! And purple! Wow! It's so cute! I love it! I think you need one more thing to really sell the look. We'll just take off these glasses. You can see without them, right? You know what? Take the cardigan off, too. We'll just put it right over there. Where it belongs. Yep, definitely keep that button undone. I do feel pretty. Well, pretty. Come on, let's get to class! All right, time to give your new look a try! Whoa, do you see purple and green like I do? Oh my gosh, no one's laughing! Thank you so much! And there. I think that's me. This room is a mess! It's disgusting! Make yourself useful and pick up these clothes. Uh, maybe later? Bye-bye! What? No! Come back! All I'm good for is cleaning up. Oh, come on. Fine, I'll tidy everything up. How much makeup does she wear? It's never ending. I wish I got paid for this. Wow, I mean, it's impressive how much sponges she goes through. Seriously? Under here as well? I think that's them all. Oh, my back. I'm too old for this. May as well pick up the clothes, too. Really? I need to have a talk with her. In they go. As if this is how I want to spend my time. Ugh! Thank goodness for the washing machine! Hmm, I have a way to clean the sponges quickly. Put the makeup sponges in a bucket or basin. Add in a large scoop of stain remover powder. Then pour over some water. Look at all the bubbles! Looks like it's working! Once they've soaked, empty out the water. Rinse with clean water to remove any leftover detergent. Give it a squeeze. And look how clean they are! Ah, <sighs> that worked well and saved time! Oh, almost forgot. 
I'll need these. What? What happened? Mickey! Aren't you just the cutest little kitty? Now sit here while mommy gets ready, okay? I hope this lasts. I've got a long day ahead of me. Whoa, watch those paws, kitty! You know better than that. No, no, no! No! All the powder's ruined! You've gotta be kidding me! This thing was brand spanking new, too. Can I even use this stuff now? Aw, oh, man. I guess I'll just be shiny forever. Unless… Perhaps this bottle can fix the problem. Take the crumbled powder and make it even finer. The back of a brush works best. Then spray some perfume onto it. Once it's wet, mix it around with a brush. Looking better already, right? Make sure to smooth it out flat. That was easy! The fact that it smells like flowers is a bonus. Now it's back to a solid powder. Crisis averted! Don't worry, princess, you're off the hook. Who could stay mad at that face? But maybe no more hanging out up here, okay? I'm so happy we were finally able to meet up. I've wanted to do this for weeks! Oh, I almost forgot. I have to tell you all about the gossip I heard yesterday. Oh man, this is gonna be another one of Lana's long-winded stories, isn't it? Hold that thought. I'm gonna run to the restroom, okay? All right then. Well, I guess I can use this time to touch up my lipstick really quick. Let me get my compact out. Okay, let's see what we're dealing with here. Whenever your date runs to the restroom, it's always an easy excuse to do a makeup check. Nice. All my blush wore off! I look so pale and splotchy. No, 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 this just won't do. I'll just pop on a little blush and all will be better. Did I seriously forget to put it in here? Oh no! Now what am I gonna do? If you're ever in a bind and need to add a little color to your cheeks, try this handy little trick. Pucker up and put your freshly painted lips onto a paper napkin like this. Press the mark to your cheek, like this. Now do the same exact thing to the other side. Don't worry, it's not going to look like this for long. With your finger, gently rub the lipstick into your skin. It's a little sticky, so take a minute to blend it in. Don't forget the other cheek, Lana. There you go! Wow, that really does look like you're wearing real blush. See the difference? Well, that was a close call. I better put this stuff away before he comes back. There you are! Man, stay out of that bathroom. Yikes. After spending some time in there, Lana's long story suddenly doesn't seem so bad. Alright, I think my ice cream table is finally ready to go. Ugh, look at her over there. Huh? Is she glaring at me? Hey! Ice cream! Come and get it over here! Yes! Here's your ice cream cone! Thank you so much and enjoy! Ice cream! Fresh and delicious! Today only! Yes! My ice cream is a huge hit! One for you, and here for you, and you too! What? I can't believe she made so much money already! Hey! I have ice cream over here! It's delicious! Why doesn't anyone want to buy my ice cream? It's just as delicious! Wait! Maybe it's my look! Okay, I'll start with eye color. I think I'll go with blue. And now I'll use one of my ice cream cones. I traced the cone, and now I need paper napkins and liquid latex. I'll crumple the paper and dip it into the latex. 
Now I'll put it around the circle I drew. I want to make sure to do it around the whole circle. There we go. Done. Now to bring the cone back. And I'll just place the cone back into the spot I traced. Okay. I'll use this white pencil to trace a line down my face. All the way down to my lips and chin. Okay. That should be good enough. Now for this pink paint palette and brush. I'll dab it on the paper now that it's dried. I'll cover all the paper and then start painting my face too. Done! You know what's next? Sprinkles! I'll just sprinkle them over the cone and the paint. I'll also put them on my lips and my eyelid. And I'm done! It looks like I have a melted cone on my face! Time to get back to selling ice cream! Ice cream! I have ice cream available! Whoa! Look at her! That's where I'm gonna get my ice cream! Wow! Your makeup's amazing! Thanks! Here's your ice cream! Me too, please! I'd like a cone! Ooh! This ice cream is delicious! Ugh! What the heck? Well, I can do that too! There! See? What do you think about that? Sometimes, all it takes is one look in the mirror to realize you need some tending to. Ugh, why are my lips so dry? Uh, I'm gonna have to call you back. So embarrassing. Now what do I do? Skin's practically hanging off of me. But I don't want to pull it off. Lip balm should help, right? Well, no wonder my lips are chapped. There's nothing left in this thing? I just can't catch a break. Some lipstick will have to do. This is out too? Guess my lips have no hope. Unless… Clean out your empty lip balm container. And set it aside. In a small dish, mix some coconut oil, Vaseline, and a chunk of your favorite lipstick. Perfect. Once the mixture melts, pour it into the empty lip balm vessel. Then off to the fridge, it goes to harden. See you soon, little guy. I'm back! You look perfect! Time to take this for a test drive. But I've gotta use the right end of it. There! Man, do these lips need some of this. Oh hey, perfect pout! You really saved the day. Oh! I gotta call Vicky back! This book is a real page-turner! Oh, a message! So soon? Better get ready! There's my makeup bag! I'll start with a spray of perfume. I smell like a rose! What else? Lipstick! Ugh, this might be trickier. But that's what teeth are for! Sort of. Come on! Nice and slow. Okay, you're getting there. Why is this so hard? That'll do. Who am I kidding? I look like a clown! There must be an easier way. Oh! This flossing brush could be handy. I know how to use this. Rub the flossing brush over the lipstick. Making sure the floss is coated. Then press it onto the lip. Make an X shape in the center to start. Then work along the outline of the lips. Then do the same on the bottom lip. Then just fill it in with the lipstick. Wow! Look at those lips! Hey! How are you feeling? You look great! I got you some things! Thank you! Yes! I feel my artistic vision coming alive! Phew! This is hard work! I need to cool off! Ugh! Oh 
that was hard. But this is much better. Wait. What's this? Oh no! I think it's my lipstick! It must have rubbed off! Shoot! Psst. Hey! Over here! Psst. Psst. Huh? What's that noise? What? Oh, my lipstick came off! Oh. Is that all? I've got you covered. Here you go! I took an empty paint container. I filled it with clear gel like Vaseline. And the color I wanted. Then I just mixed it all together. When it was fully mixed, it was done! In order to use it, I just need a paintbrush, get a little dab, and then add it to my lips. And just like that, I made colored lip gloss! Oh wow! This works great! And when it's dry, you just peel it off! See? Your lips are still colored! It's a lip stain! It'll stay on all day now! You don't have to worry about it rubbing off either! You're a literal genius! Thanks! Now back to my art! Ooh, this new hairbrush is fantastic! It's making my hair so glossy! I mean, check out this hair flip! Amazing, right? Totally amazing! Perfect! I'm ready to tackle the day! Oh, Annie's hair is so gorgeous! I wish my hair was like that. Okay, she's gone! I'll just use her brush! Oh, that did not turn out like I imagined. Ugh, time to take off this binder. It's not fair. I want my hair to look like that. Wait, I think I've got an idea. This will totally work. Okay, first I'll just pull back the top. Gotta make sure it's secure. Okay, that's done. So I'll move it out of the way. Now I'll pull back the rest of my hair. Just like the top section of my hair. I want it to be nice and secured. Okay, and done! Now for the next step. The top section will cover the binder from the bottom half. No more weird spiky ponytail! It just looks like one single ponytail! Time to use Annie's brush again for maximum glossiness! Whoa, Ava! Your hair looks fantastic! Thanks, Annie! Nice and glossy, just like yours! Really great job, Ava! I know she used my hairbrush without asking. Did that thing grow overnight? Is it breathing? We're getting rid of this once and for all. And I know just the man for the job. Nope. Cover up to the rescue! I'll blend this sucker right out of the picture. Oh, you'll need some more of that, girl. Ugh! One more layer ought to do it. Is it budging? That's it. Your days are numbered, pimple. Oh, that's not very subtle, is it? Ugh! I wonder if this could do anything. It's worth a try. If you have leftover blue or green eyeshadow, mix your concealer with it. Use a brush to really blend them together. Then pat it onto the blemish with a brush. It may take a couple of layers, but keep blending! Oh my gosh. Take that, ugly pimple. Oh, the magic of color correcting. Don't drop it, don't drop it. There we go. Gotta start with a good base. Oh yeah, nice and smooth. Gorgeous! And next, we gotta get nice long lashes. See that magic? And next, a little lip color is a must. Isn't this new color to die for? Pucker up, buttercup! 
can't forget my signature scent. Yum! Ooh, can't forget about this hair. Or maybe I should have. I can't go out like this. I don't know if heat is helping here. It's even worse! I look like an angry lion! Let's do this. Okay. Gah! It just keeps growing! There's nothing more to try! What happened to your hair? Hold this for a sec. I just gotta dig in on this salad. Want some? Apple cider vinegar! Of course! Pour some right onto your head and massage it in like shampoo. Should smoothen things right out. And now for those lingering kinks. That stuff sure does wonders, huh? Look how smooth and silky it is. Yep, I'm a total hair wizard. Catch you later, okay? All from a little of this, huh? Quick, let's take a selfie before class starts. Um, Lana, what the heck is wrong with your eye? What? How did my makeup get all smudged like that? I just put it on! Oh man, what am I supposed to do now? Ugh, rubbing it in just made it ten times worse. I don't even think I brought any spare makeup with me. But maybe this highlighter can help? Okay, why didn't I think of this before? If you're having a smudge catastrophe, a little highlighter can save the day. In just a couple swift moves, those unsightly marks will disappear. Aren't highlighters supposed to draw color? Well, funny you should ask that. I actually tweaked this highlighter a bit to fit my needs. First, start with a bowl of warm water. Then grab a highlighter and take off its end before taking off the cap and removing the tip. Drop it in the water before taking out the ink inside the marker and doing the same thing. Then you just sit around and wait for all the color to extract. Next, take the color-free ink holder and tip and soak it in eye makeup remover like this one. There you go! Once they've soaked in the remover, put the pieces back inside the highlighter. Don't forget the cap. And basically, that's how it's done. Wanna give it a try? Ooh, don't mind if I do. Well, we'd better get to work. Class just started. This red lip sure makes a statement. Don't forget the liner! Hey! Why does my hair always do this? It's so annoying! Ugh! I'm ready to pull it out! Humph. Actually, I think I know what to do. Take the pencil and put it through here. Keep twisting it along the forehead. See the pretty pattern it's making? Once you're done, hold the hair and stick a cool clip on the end. Super chic! And now it won't stick to your makeup. Fabulous! Hey! Sorry I'm late! Wow, your hair looks cool like that! Thanks. I'm starved. Did you order? Excuse me! Hey bro, that was such a great game! Right? I love playing one-on-one! -on -one. Back at ya! Let's play again! Oh, basketball! Fun! Can I play too? Uh, no way. This is guy's day. Well, what the heck? I thought you liked playing basketball? Guys are so dumb sometimes. Hmm, wait a second. What if I… Better take off these earrings to start. All right, now time to remove all my makeup. Can't forget my lashes and eyes. 
Bye bye, glitter. I like how clean my face feels after taking it all off. I'm a clean canvas and ready for a new look. I'll start by darkening my eyebrows and then shaping them so they look thicker and wild. Now time to add some contour lines. But I'm doing them this way. And now to start blending it all in. Okay, it's eyelash tackling time! Just add a bit of foundation to them. And now I'll need just a little bit of this black color. Just a little dab so I can do small dots right here. I want to make it look like I've got some stubble. Just all across my jawline and chin. There! I'm done! Just need one more thing. The hat will hide my long hair. What do you think? Think they'll buy it? Do I look like one of the guys? I think this is one of my better transformations. They'll have to let me play now. Man, this ball is totally flat. Hey, bro, wanna play? Nice job, bro! What do you think about this? I'm not a bro at all. You should have let me play earlier. Yeah. Okay, you're right. Let's play. Looks like another school picture day is upon us. Come on, the more we wait, the more nervous we're gonna get. Sophia, you're up! Yikes. Didn't you get any sleep last night, Lily? I don't know how I'm gonna stay awake for this. I look okay to take my picture, right? Um, have you not looked in a mirror yet today, Lily? Oh no! These bags under my eyes are atrocious! I have concealer, but I'm not sure it's the right color for you. But this lipstick ought to do the trick. This stuff's gonna save the day, trust me. What? Lipstick for my eye bags? I'll give anything a try at this point. If you have dark bags under your eyes, red lipstick can be used to cancel out the color. Simply dab it on lightly just like this. Once that's done, use a blending brush to smooth things out. Yep, just like that. Pretty soon, the colors will start to cancel each other out. But to combat that leftover color, dab some concealer on top. Once you've dabbed that stuff on, blend it in with your brush. Looking good. Hey, your bags are gone, Lily. That's one awesome trick. Hey, looks like they're ready for you. Vicky saved your butt today, Lily. But next year, try to get some sleep before the big day. 